What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Sal, and I want to thank you guys for taking your time out today and coming kicking with me today. So my thought process on today, on this video is talking about how a lot of YouTubers and a lot of influencers broadcast the, the younger generation, how you always have to have all the hype things or the collabs or things of that nature. And it's, it's really not even about that. It's about what you like and what your connection is to these things. Like, I see a lot of YouTubers that are always be like, oh, just got this bait tea, just got Louis, Louis V, got Supreme, got all, like, how do these people that you're making these videos to or for watching, how can they get these things? They can't, they're children. They're, nobody has the means. You have the means or we have the means because we make videos, we make content. We get paid off of these products, but I just, it just irritates me when that's all they're making videos about or that's all they're talking about. Like, I know some people talk about the things, the old retros or this shoe or that shoe, but 90% of your content is about the most popular things and the most popular things are always the most expensive things to get. And it just makes it seem like your viewers can't connect with you because they can't wear any of the things that you have. Like, and that, that kills me in a sense, like, you guys have to sit out here and tell these kids, and even for myself, tell these kids, rock what they like, wear what they like. Wear things that they can, that are feasible to them. Because a lot of things that we're talking about, it's not feasible. It seems like it's a, it's a dream. But I understand you can strive for your goals to get this or get that, but why, why spend $1,500 on a shirt, $1,500 on a belt, on a wallet, when you can get way more items with that money that you're saving. But that's all I'm trying to say, you guys. Yeah, I feel like all of these collabs are, people don't really like them. They're really not stylish it's because you're trying to get the thing that the next man can't. Like, do you, man. Like, understand, understand it's not about what this person has. This person has Supreme. This person has Burberry on. This person has on Gucci. This person, like, no, man. It, it just, it doesn't look authentic because that's not you. And you might see me have a couple of those things, but it's, that's not me. I love sneakers. I love things that I like, you know what I'm saying? I love PacSun, I love Forever 21. I love brands like that because it's feasible. And when, you, when you're having on these very expensive labels or very special designers, you're not gonna wanna wear it. You're not gonna wanna get it dirty. You're not gonna, you're gonna be out there looking like a fool because you act like, oh, don't touch me or, you know, oh, I don't wanna get this dirty. Like, man, they're sneakers, they're meant to get dirty. They're clothes, they're meant to get dirty. But you're putting out there for these kids that these things are just, they're glorified. Like, and I don't think you should glorify things like that. Like, make things memorable. You're not gonna make that memorable because you're gonna get it, you're gonna wear it. Or if you don't wear it, you're gonna sell it to the next man. And that's all your, the viewpoint of how these hype things are to me. You wanna have it just to sell it. You're not having it because you love it. You're not having it because you want it. You're having it because the next man want it. And you know the next man to pay anything to get that. And that's not, that's not what I feel like our culture should be about. The sneaker community is, is way more vast and broad than that. That's why I feel like it's always a lot of disconnect between the older sneakerhead generation and the young sneakerhead generation because they get things because they like it and they keep things because they love it. Now it's all about buy, sell, and trade. Or oh, I want this because of this and I want this because of that. And it's not what these, the old school wants. But I do understand the young school generation that, you know, you want things that are cool, you want things that are flashy, but flashy and cool is not always the best. Do what you like to do. Do what you like. Understand your path on your sneaker journey or any kind of your fashion journey, any kind of journey that you like. Like, everybody gets into different things, but don't get into the things because the next man like it. That's all my message is here in this video. But I wanna thank you guys for coming out and chilling with your boy Sal, and I catch you guys next time we kick it. Peace.